Way Beast Ted has been failed by his label again, and his fans are fed up. j Puck is back on Instagram, and he has also shared updates on the group he's debuting. There's also an update on Ning Ning, which we need to talk about, because this situation is getting crazier and crazier. As always, let's start the video with some happy news. Wonder Girls' Liam and her husband, Shin Mi Chol, have welcomed their first child. Liam's agency released a statement saying, Hey, Liam gave birth to a healthy baby boy at a hospital in Seoul on the 23rd. Currently, the mother and child are all healthy. Liam also posted a picture of the baby on Instagram writing, Our love was born healthy. Love at first sight is real. Congratulations to the couple. The baby is too cute. EXIG Solji has really changed career paths, and trust me, it's a very unexpected choice. On October 5th, a post about Solji's current activities began making rounds on online communities. What really got the attention of netizens is the fact that Solji is included in the professors of Yongin Arts and Science University's homepage for their vocal music department. It turns out that Solji will be the commercial vocal production professor at the university. Along with Solji's picture, the page also includes Solji's achievements as an idol, like albums and singles she has released as a member of EXID and as a soloist, OST she has sang, and the variety shows she appeared on during her career in the music industry. This isn't the first time Solji has given vocal lessons, as she worked as the EXID's vocal trainer for some time before finally joining them as an official member. Solji shared her excitement about teaching during an interview with the press on February 25th. She said, I've been going to the university to attend meetings since last October. I'll be beginning my lectures in March. Yongin Arts and Science University didn't have a commercial vocal production department in the past. They appointed me as they established the new department. She also shared what she'll be teaching her students. Solji said, I've been in the industry for about 17 years now, which is hard to believe. I would like to share my experience in this field with my students. She'll probably do an amazing job. I have no doubts about that. Things aren't looking good for NMIX, like at all. Despite being a group from the big three, their debut song has not been doing well in any aspect. To start off, their debut song OO oh oh made headlines in British news media outlets for being quote unquote the worst song of all time. The British media reported on all the negative reviews the song has been getting and how low they've been charting. In fact, the song was unable to enter the top 100 in the Melon Music charts. They didn't even reach the top 200 as the song landed at 220th place, which is something that has never happened to a JYP group. Netizens were shocked for obvious reasons. Nmix's debut was highly anticipated and their are also from JYP, whose artists are always on the top of the charts. An Edison wrote, Of course, that's not a song the public would like. It's really hard to listen to. But on top of their problems with charting, NMIX have also been dealing with plagiarism accusations. Before NMIX's debut, Luna and Enhypen fans noticed similarities between NMIX's introductory teasers and Luna and Enhypen's music videos. It has gotten worse now as ATs and ESPA fans too are calling out JYP Entertainment for plagiarizing from their favorites. NMIX's debut music video was met with a lot of anger as AT's fans claim that a majority of NMIX's concept, font, titling, props, and music video was plagiarized from AT's Illusion, Inception, Turbulence, Real, VCRs, and more. Four scenes in particular triggered the controversy. A pirate ship flying across a pink sky, a group dancing in the background of an abandoned ship, a rooftop view, and a street dance view. The plagiarism allegations trended online with the hashtags JYP Plagiarism Controversy Explain and JYP Explain Apologize Acknowledge. AT's fans called out JYP in their production team for doing no research and basing the group's music and video on a concept AT's created. Meanwhile, some fans have noticed the similarities between NMIX and ESPA too. One fan compared the concept teasers, photo angles, and physical album designs, and well, let's say they're similar. The netizens also think that there's similarities between the structures of Next Level and OO. JYP then claimed that OO was a new genre made for the girls called Mix Pop, but this is false since SM Entertainment has been experimenting with this style of music for years now. Songs like I Got a Boy by Girls Generation or the whole discography of FX is great proof of that. The issues don't stop there. The group also sparked controversy for wearing outfits that turned out to be a copy of the design of a foreign streetwear brand called Frisk Me Good. The brand's designer, Sierra Boyd, called them out on her Instagram. If that wasn't enough, viewers pointed out that the point dance move for OO was very similar to Chinese singer Xu Jiatri's signature move that was dubbed the Scorpion Leg. NMIX features the same dance move in OO, so it's no wonder that many began accusing the group's choreographer for playing plagiarizing Xu Jiatri's signature move. But fans came to their defense saying that the dance move is not uncommon and has been used before by other K-pop groups, including NMIX's seniors, twice. While it's true that there's similarities between NMIX and other groups' concepts, JYP is the one who should be blamed, not the members themselves. j Pak has come back to Instagram and the industry. Following his career in the last few months has been quite a roller coaster, with him stepping down as CEO of both his companies and deleting his Instagram. But on February 25th, he opened a brand new Instagram account 
phone and shared the link on Twitter, writing, I'm back, spread the word. But his comeback isn't limited to Instagram only. j -Pock himself has debunked the rumors that he's retiring, saying that he just needed a break from working for so long. He said, I'm not retiring yet. I just wanted to recharge after working nonstop for 12 years. I think I was tired. I thought about it for a long time. He also talked about why he stepped down as CEO of both AOMG and Higher Music in December of last year. He explained, As the company structure and organization were gradually caught, the part I had to take charge of decreased. I quit my position as a representative for a new challenge because I wanted to do something. Not only that, but he's also planning on coming back with a full-length album. The date is not specified, but he confirmed that he will be making a comeback. He said, I released an R&B album in 2016, and they liked it a lot. We are currently working on a full-length album in the R&B genre. Even though he isn't a CEO anymore, he still has plans to debut a new group. According to reports, he plans to launch a new label to debut his new group in a partnership with Kakao. In a YouTube interview, j Pock hinted at the concept he had in mind for the upcoming boy band. He shared, I want to make an idol that has not been introduced in K-pop yet. I want to show an idol composed of confident and humane members who honestly show their shortcomings, not a singer who covers their shortcomings. Fans are really excited about this and believe that this group could attract a lot of international attention. SM Entertainment has messed up again and I'm seriously mad. Well, it's Label V who messed up this time, but they're a subsidiary of SM, so it's low-key the same. Ten hasn't been able to participate in NCT's universe promotions due to being busy with his solo activities in China. One of these activities included appearing on the Chinese variety show Yoku, and this is where Label V really mishandled things. Yoku gave Label V seven free tickets for the recording, but Label V refused the tickets and didn't let fans know about it. Fans who attended the event had to buy the tickets from other sources for $400 instead of getting them for free. When the fans entered the venue, they found out that, though an area had been set aside for Tense fans, that area was almost empty due to Label V's incompetence. Because of this, the producer of the show thought that Ten wasn't as popular. Also, Ten was reportedly the only artist at the recording with almost no fans there to support him, so it's no surprise that people were angry. They're also worried about how the mismanagement on Label V's part can potentially damage Ten's career. They really did Ten dirty, and SM should look into the issue as soon as possible. The Beijing Winter Olympics might have ended, but the drama surrounding it definitely has not. Yes, I'm talking about Ning Ning. Almost a month after the bubble controversy happened, Ning Ning is finally back. She greeted fans with a video, a set of photos, and two text messages on Bubble. Fans of Espo welcomed her back as they were starting to get worried about her future in the group. But her return also received backlash, and that's because she wrote a part of her Bubble message in Chinese. You know, her native language. Ning Ning is being called out on Korean chat platforms where netizens are calling her a hypocrite for writing her comeback update in Chinese. And all she said was, I missed you and good night. A netizen wrote, but it's indeed funny how she's making money off Koreans but writing in Chinese. Another said, she should go back to China and promote there. They are seriously messed up for attacking her for such a simple greeting. A netizen pointed that out, saying, It's my first time seeing someone getting hated for greeting people. I said that people will start hating others for breathing before, so are you guys gonna start hating on her for breathing next? Seriously, cut it down. I'm so glad that netizens have finally realized that the hate was going too far. What are your thoughts on this? Thank you for watching, and see you next time. Bye!